So I'm Emily Rose Lewis and I wanted to hop on and share a, a revelatory dream that I was given last night for my personal life. But also I believe that it is to um, give a good parable to the body of Christ of some of the things they might be experiencing and why. And um, just to encourage you to pay attention to the way that the Lord is talking. I'm a advanced dream interpreter. I've been studying my dreams for since I was 15 years old or even before that. And I'm, I'm 47 now, so a very long time. And I have a couple of dream courses up with lots of modules. And I'm running a special about that right now, which I've put a link in this video for that. But what I want to do right now is share this, <clears throat> this dream for you. So hopefully some people will hop on and I'll be able to do this live. But I'll go ahead and get started. So I had a dream last night and in the dream there was a uh, a microwave well I have like a place for a microwave I don't know if you can see it it's kind of above my stove there and it was empty the, the microwave had been removed and I was like I need my microwave <laughs> and I was thinking I need to put a new microwave in and I needed someone to help me and I couldn't find anybody help me to put the microwave in and then the next scene of the dream Sean Fute I think that's how it's pronounced his name is spelled um, F-E-U-C-T he is the guy who does let us worship and um, so he comes into the room and I was surprised that he was there. I thought, well, well you know, I, it was kind of as shocking as if he had actually come into my house. And um, what he does is he leads worshipers and he goes to the capital cities um, of each state. They worship on the grounds of the typically near like government buildings. And they are worshiping at the gates of these capital buildings cities in these cap near the capitol building of different states and so what he does is he worships through spiritual warfare he he goes essentially they're going into the courtrooms with their worship and um bringing the kingdom of heaven to these places that laws are being made that decisions are being made that affect the people of the state and so i was i i, I wrote a post today and um i really wish facebook had better i had better reach on facebook i used to go live and tons of people would be on and there's like it's shown up to like 15 people um but y'all follow me on uh tiktok or youtube or instagram because i might start doing these lives there instead if i'm just going to do it in one place but so i wrote this post this morning <clears throat> because i thought well we want things in, in, in a quick way. And so you might have a dream or a vision and it's not coming about quickly. And you're like, what is going on? And I, I, I made this post today. I'm going to read it real quick. Um, um, I said, I know it might be hard to hear, but God typically uses the slow cooker for the best things he is preparing for you, not the microwave. The microwave in my dream was missing. I was need a new microwave, wondering who was going to help me bring the microwave into the house. I was a little bit distraught. The microwave was gone. I didn't have one. So this prompted me. And then Sean Fute comes in in my dream. And as I'm pondering it the next morning, I'm thinking the Lord doesn't want me to worship in the wait. And so I wrote this to encourage people. So life has seasons. If you're in a difficult one, take heart. It won't last. The best godly counsel I can give to live a victorious, joyful, peaceful life in every single season is to worship your way through. God inhabits the praises of his people. Praise will reroute demons. Listen, I use the word reroute demons. Okay, I'm sharing a dream and the prophetic meaning of the dream. God inhabits the praises of his people. Your praise will reroute demons that are trying to take advantage of your long wait. Praise will lift you above the storm. Praise will shift your focus off your promises onto God on to God, off your problems rather, on to God. God is beautiful. Stick with me here. Fixing your eyes on him will soothe the ache in your heart and help you to see the beauty and blessing that is all around you. Okay, the season will change. Okay, and I want us to be ready. So in my dream, the microwave was missing. 
in my dream, uh, Sean Fute, who, who leads Let Us Worship, who goes around to different capitals and they worship. So anyway, I got on Facebook and there was this post of his. You'll see it. He's flying to India. If y'all follow me, you know, we've had ministry, we have ministry partners in India. I've recently met new m people who have ministries in India. I'm believing to go to India in 2025 and have heart for the people there. Many years, maybe four years ago, we helped build a school over there and we want to raise money to build, um, hostels so the kids can go to school anyway so india's in my heart is part of my mission part of uh you know my purpose to minister over there and so he says this is the farthest deviance i have ever seen from a flight path and it's my plane right now en route to india what is going on okay so he's asking people about this and somebody says they're rerouting you it says, this is to avoid Russian airspace. Wishing you safe travels and we'll be praying you reach India safely. Okay. So they have some, one of the comments that I read said, you're re, we're rerouting you. Oh, they're probably rerouting you out of Russian airspace because he's like wondering about this. So when you're interpreting dreams, and this is what I teach people, it's really, Sometimes God gives you drips of revelation about what the dream's about. So you can sit and ponder it and assign meaning to different parts of it. Try to meditate on what it is. But many times when you first wake up, you don't get the full revelation. He drips revelation about the dream as you go. And it could be weeks. It could be months, depending on how important that dream is. If it sticks with you, write it down. But right off, I knew because this man had been in my dream. And I took it as he wants me to worship. He wants me... There are things that need to be in place in the heavenly realms at high levels and the, you know, to clear things out, to make a way for me. I knew, you know, God ordained certain things, you know, he'll put certain things in your heart. When we were overseas this last time, I knew we were to go to Africa. I knew we were to go to India. I wasn't sure of the date. You begin to pray over these things prophetically. You have a vision of where you want your marriage to be, how a vision of where you want your ministry to be, a vision of what it is that you want to accomplish for the Lord. And then in the waiting, it's so important that you worship while you wait. And the microwave missing is symbolic because yesterday was a hard day for me. I, I, I was helping some people here locally and that always brings, I won't get into it, but there was a hard day. There were several things that went on that, that just felt heavy, weighty for me. And um, I went to bed in prayer and not feeling depressed, but feeling the, you ever feel the weight of where you want to be versus where you are, what you're working towards, uh, what you have, what your dream is based on what your resources are. And it's like so uneven that you're like, uh, you know, like this is a lot. <laughs> How, you know, there's a, there is a tension there between where we are and where we want to be. And I teach about this a lot and I don't usually get weighed down, but sometimes when you're getting hit with things, you know, maybe you're dealing with strife with a person or somebody coming against you or a lot of people pulling in you in different directions. You might not have gotten enough sleep. You might need to, you know, get some exercise, whatever it is we have these days. And so I went to bed like that and God gave me the dream to show me exactly what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> there, the microwave's gone. There are things that the Lord is calling to us that going to have to marinate that are so big, that are so beyond us, that need such supernatural resources, such alignment with heaven, such people being in place, in position, and that there are people who are above us. Maybe there are people that are needed, just like um, Sean, the Let Us Worship team, goes to the Capitol buildings, and there are perhaps laws in place in, that aren't aligned with heaven. There are people in position that are standing against God's plan for that, um, state and things like that. So when God gives us a big vision and especially like in this situation where I have a region that I want to minister to, there's, there are, there are demonic strongholds over region. There are all kinds of things already at play where people have made decisions that people of power have made decisions that what God was showing me when I saw his, um, post after I woke up and wrote that status is that the Lord is rerouting us at times. And we're like, 
this is clearly the, the quickest path to get there. Why am I, like, why are we going out of the way? Like, why are you rerouting me? For our protection. For our protection. Many times when the Lord is rerouting us and we can see in the natural, this is the most direct path. If you could just, you know, we could give God the list. Just do this, 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 and this. And then, you know, we'll just get over there and get it done. People have needs, you know. Like, what are we waiting for here? But there's not always a microwave situation. And a lot of times, we have got to understand that, that we aren't just waiting on God to move. That we need to pray through these things. We need to uh, come in, into a prayer in the rerouting and trust that the Lord knows what he's doing. And I just think it was such a great dream symbol to have the leader of Let's Worship, Sean Foyt, if I'm saying it right, come to my house in my dream when I was like, I need a new microwave. And he was there and I woke up immediately knowing what I always preach, what I always know, and typically what I always do. I'm going to have to just worship in the way. We have to worship the Lord in the way. Worship is the highest form of prayer. Because we are trusting the Lord. We are seeing that he is good. We are seeing his beauty. We are knowing that he is moving. And we understand, we need to understand rather, that the things that he's taken us to aren't always going to happen microwavably. <laughs> the, sometimes he like removes a short path and puts us on a path that he put us on because he is protecting us from a area, from a region, from a situation where the authoritative, um, in the, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. So there are spiritual powers, wickedness in high places. And if you follow this guy, you hear about how when he tries to go into a city and secure worship in, um, at the Capitol, there's all kinds of spiritual warfare coming against him. So this is normal when you are serving the Lord, trying to do the Lord, Lord's will. There's stuff coming against us. But we need to understand when God is rerouting us, when God is putting us in the slow cooker or a situation slow cooker, and we we need to not be weary. We need to be so grateful. If that person isn't there now, you don't need them. If that money has arrived yet, you don't need it. It will come and you pray, you pray through that. If a door has not opened, God is protecting us oftentimes or we're knocking on the wrong door. And so it's just an encouragement. I wanted to share this dream. It was a prophetic dream for me personally. And I think specifically, um, you know, in my ministry call, maybe even specifically to India because he was going to India. But the him going to India in this post, for me, it's just the situation that was of concern to me when I went to bed was ministry visions, ministry dreams. You, you know, I mean, like... <laughs> I used to get on live on Facebook and there would be like 50 people on. Like I just got on here and talked for three minutes before it even showed it to somebody. I guess like one person jumped on three minutes in and that might not seem like a big deal to other people. But when you've been working at it, working at it, working at it. Now I, I had the local ministry for four and a half years where I was pouring into that more, but things change Then you know, God can be rerouting even through that. Um, so even in the rerouting, even when things seem to be going backwards and you're reaching less people when you've you know, you've poured more and you've worked harder and you've got the degree, whatever it is. I'm just sharing my, what, what the dream was about for me was about ministry. And, and so we don't even know all the reasons why, but I just want to encourage you if you're being rerouted, if you feel like you're on the, the least direct path to where you're going, you know, that dream was from God, just continue to worship and Re it just it, I was so happy. I love interpreting dreams. I love helping people learn to interpret the dreams because God speaks through our dreams and he gives us wisdom. He gives us understanding. He counsels us in the night through our dreams. And if we know how to interpret them, it's it's just great to hear from God. Who doesn't want to hear specifically from the Lord about their situation? Who doesn't want divine revelation about I went to bed actually distraught. I woke up at quite distraught I came downstairs and laid on the couch and prayed for a while I went back to sleep and it was in that time when I went back to sleep because I was up so early in the morning and that's why I didn't go live I just felt like I needed to go back to sleep that's when God gave me that dream and in the re and then it was just so freeing to know okay <laughs> I remember it might even be confirmation of what you already know the Holy Spirit is amazing he's great so I just I just encourage you 
don't worry if you're being rerouted and it feels like it's taking you longer. And, you know, he prunes, but sometimes it's not even pruning. Sometimes he is literally keeping you safe by the path that you are on when, you know, man's mind plans his ways, the Bible says. Man's mind plans his ways, but it's the Lord that directs his steps and praise God for that. <laughs> Because, you know, we don't want to fly into the danger zone. There's enough spiritual warfare without plunging headlong into the things God has called us to un um, um, where there's not the covering there. And that's interesting that I'm saying the covering because um, that was something in my dream that I, the one of the things I noticed in, in my house was covers, you know, and so God wants us to pray through things because sometimes we, um, if you, I, I had a counseling call today and of course I'm not going to, um, you know, give any details or anything, but we discussed a situation where somebody who had no covering in a situation was not covered. And if you're a spiritual person, you understand what this means. I mean, we need to cover each other in prayer. We need to cover what we're doing in prayer. We need to pray we need to learn to pray through to complete victory and we need to learn to, to, to pray through till we are walking in peace in a situation. Pray to, you know, if you were having a hard time, if you've had a hard day, don't just ignore that. Pray a little bit more. If God wakes you up early, get up and pray a little bit more. If you're upset, don't go to bed upset. You know, pray, pray yourself to sleep, you know, because prayer, it, um, especially when you're praying in the will and the word of God, the Lord literally is sending angels to go before us and he goes before us and makes our path straight. And so our steps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Don't worry so much about the time. There's a time and a season for everything under the sun. There is a time for everything and seasons change. Seasons change. And it's, I think one of the things that is the most difficult for most Christians I think is learning how to value and milk the season we're in for all the spiritual growth, <laughs> for all of the purpose, for all of the things that the Lord has called us to do, like to be in the here and now is, it is, it is a Christian goal to be content with the things that we have where we are and live with that passionate desire to see certain things shifted, changed, opened up for us, closed up for us, whatever. But to, to be able to live knowing that our time, the there's a Bible verse that says our times are in his hands. And so, you know, don't let other, other people badger about that either because don't badger yourself about it. Well, God said it was going to happen, but it hasn't happened. When's it going to happen? When, and when, 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 you know, when's it going to happen? Oh, it's not, it's happening for them. It's happening for them. When's it going to happen for me? You know, it's, our, our when our times are in his hands, our times are in his hands. And so the Lord is so good and he is so gracious to remind us. I'm not, you're not off course. Oftentimes you think you're off course. You are not off course. God himself is rerouting you for your protection. Many people, this is a word for that. So I'm sharing it because I dream God talks to me through my dreams all the time. I don't get on here and just share them. I feel that this particular thing that I had, a mini struggle with yesterday that God gave me a revelation about is for everybody. <laughs> Every, or, or at least many people. Amen. God bless. Y'all share this. Tag some people. Say, say something in the comments if you're still here. And I, I, I linked, um, the, the dream bundle that it's $23. That's $175 off. It's three different courses. Um, hidden messages and it's, um, two dream courses. There's, I don't know. There's, maybe, I don't know, 35 modules all together. And then the breaking strongholds because strongholds is connected with the dreams because the dreams will help reveal your stronghold. So they're interconnected. And then also it is re to the degree that your mind is bound and strongholds, which are believing false things, believing lies, misunderstanding God, misunderstanding yourself or thinking wrong about something. To that degree, you can be tripped up and think you're hearing from God and believe you're hearing from God. It it affects your ability to prophesy. It affects your wisdom. Strongholds are like 
uh, you know, a stronghold in a battle. It's, you know, there's walled places in our mind and in our soul, our mind, will, and emotions where the enemy can hide. <laughs> so we need to deal with our strongholds. That's why I, I package that in with the dream courses. So um, grab that if you're interested in it. And there's a Facebook group that you can become a part of as well about uh, dreams. And, uh, or maybe, no, it's a Demolish and Stronghold Facebook. I need to start a, a closed group for, for dreams so that people that have taken the course can talk back and forth and I can jump in there. Um, I might do that, actually. <laughs> but anyway, God bless you. God bless you. He's getting us ready in the meantime. Amen. Amen to that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I pray that you would just seal this in our heart. Just help us to enjoy our lives, to worship you, to be so grateful knowing that you inhabit the praises of your people. Wherever we are praising you, God abides. God abides. And Lord, there is such power in our praise. Power to lift us up out of despondency. Power to lift us up out of the fog of confusion. Fog of, um, you know, uh, thinking and our own thoughts about things that could cause moods to be shifted, Lord. You want us to be full of joy. You want us to be full of peace. You want us to walk in peace and walk in joy and be so unbothered by when, God, when? When's it going to happen? How's it going to happen? <laughs> like, who are you going to do it through? Who are you going to send? Whatever. <laughs> when are you going to change them? When are you going to change me? You know, Lord... We just love you and we want to flow and the, um, we want to flow with the Holy Spirit and we know that that flow is pure, that, that, um, leading us into all truth, Lord. And we just pray that you would lead us into all truth and that you would give people peace and that you would help people not to overthink the timing of things and not to be over bothered by it. You know, who cares when it happens really? Because, honestly, we don't want to be in anything we're not ready for that's not ready for us anyway. <laughs> All right. God bless.